Sullivan Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 and welcome back to the Upper Mississippi River Valley. Who feels like uh, harvesting uh, soybeans in the snow? Hmm, yeah, since last episode, Evan, obviously, well, it was snow in last episode. Now we've actually got snow on the ground, Evan. It is starting to accumulate here now. Um, hmm, I don't know. I have not actually tried harvesting yet. I'm, I'm assuming it'll let us harvest. At least hopefully it does <laughs> anyway. Uh, between episodes there, it got dark on us. So, you know what? I'll just skip through the night here. Uh, we'll skip to the next day. And then, of course, when I did that one, yeah, we ended up with a layer or two. I guess there's probably one layer of snow here, I presume. So, looks like we are going to be harvesting soybeans in the snow. We are almost done here with the field. There's not a whole lot left to go. Uh, I did have course play working on this here. So, I suppose I could day. You know what? We'll just start course play back up here again. Nearest waypoint. Yes, yes. Harvesting while it rains reduces yield. Um, I don't know how much we normally get off of these fields, everyone, but I'm thinking it reduces yield by a considerable amount because uh, I am not getting a whole lot for soybeans here. Did this truck uh, empty? Probably did. Yeah, this truck's empty. Okay. Uh, so far, if we go check the truck here. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's actually a little bit over half full here, so that's not too bad, but... That is both fields 48 and 45 in that truck. Uh, grain cart's got like a thousand bushel in it almost, but still, that is between both of these fields. And again, like I said, I don't remember how much these fields yield normally. So, you know, if I would have planted them right away, how much we would have got, but it sure feels like we are losing a significant amount of yield here. At least it feels that way anyway. Now, with that being said, if we look at our yield map, though, and the yield map does show that we should actually be getting more than we did here last time because actually we're getting a little bit darker color green here. If we go to the yield, there we go. So, yeah, I can see where, I mean, yield-wise, according to this, which and actually if you look at all of it, I mean, according to all of these fields here, 45, 48, and 47, uh, we're actually yielding really good, at least according to that. Uh, as I've said before, but I still think that uh, that yield map is kind of sort of yielding or uh, lying to us. I don't think it actually tells us what our actual true yield is. So, and, and when I say true yield, I mean, like if your combine is partly broken, everyone, you are going to be losing out on some yield. If your combine's really broken, you're going to be losing out on a significant amount of yield. Um, and I, I could be wrong, Evan. Maybe this does reflect that but i don't think it does and then i'm thinking the same also goes here now why it's missing something that's a little bit weird i'm thinking the same also goes here for rain everyone or snow in this case right uh, if it's snowing here obviously uh, we're probably losing some yield again i don't know how much but just looking at the uh, actual amount we're getting here I and mean, it sure feels like we're losing a lot so anyway got some other stuff going on here as well we're almost finished with this field here looks like a couple passes will be done um, working on baling around here somewhere. There he is. Yep, down on field 47. So I got the baler going down there. I was going to bale 41 of them, but it doesn't look like I saved the course play course with this field. So I would have to then re rake it. And uh, I don't know if you folks, I screw it. We'll just skip it. I don't feel like uh, redoing all that. Uh, we got a lot of bales to pick up here already anyway. I've got field 43 picked up here already. Speaking of watch, is this truck full? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, speaking of uh, trucks, by the way, in between episodes, I went ahead and I think I mentioned I was going to do this. I went ahead and picked up two more trucks. I just went with the uh, the Mack trucks here, by the way. So the Mack trucks, uh, they're just the default in-game. Didn't even change anything on them. I thought they looked pretty good the way they were. So looks like a good bale hauling truck to me. I'm one, I, I don't know you folks, but uh, I thought it looked like a good bale hauling truck. So... We'll get this out to the road here. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, I don't, where am I? This is not. Where's the field entrance? Oh, wrong corner. Yeah, to go back to the other corner. I was going to wait a minute. Something don't quite look right here. December's probably not the best month to be selling bales, but again, with the accumulating snow of one, I might just see once if I can sell these bales and get rid of them. Because otherwise, again, once we uh, skip to the month of January, we could potentially end up with some more snow 
which, uh, yeah, will just make picking up the bales even more uh, difficult than it kind of sort of already is. It's not too bad at the moment, but uh, again, it'd be great if there was less snow. Uh, this reminds me too, by the way, I did finally uh, take you folks' uh, suggestion here for auto drive. I just got forgetting. Uh, if you go to your settings, you have one right at the very first setting here, corner speed. Uh, a couple of people suggested turning that down to 50%, and I have done that here. Uh, we'll see if that fixes some of the issues we've been having here with auto drive and uh, corners and all that fun stuff. Okay, where are we taking bales to here? Let's go check our... Where is it? There it is. Time saving stock check here. Speaking of bales, by the way, we are currently sitting on. This is the value now, I believe. Oh, 489 versus 500, right? I mean, might as well sell them now. <laughs> There's not, I mean, uh, was that uh, $11,000 difference? I, I think the $11,000 will pay for it in uh, ease. Same thing there. I thought there'd actually be a little bit larger uh, difference than that one, but apparently not. Again, not complaining. So. Uh, let's see what's here. We got about 775,000 wheat, 261,000 oats, $874,000 in soybeans. Uh, again, not the best time. Well, definitely not the best time to sell. If we wait, we'll get 1.6 million. Plus, we have a few more that need to go in yet, too, as well. Uh, by the way, I've been taking most of this down to the uh, train station as usual, everyone. Uh, again, that's just where everything sells. So, I might as well just take it straight down there, right? Uh, with that being said, Miller's feed and grain here looks, or feed and seed, feed and seed is for the corn stalk bales, Ruby's feed stores for the soybean ones, so Miller's feed and seed, huh? Sell points. Miller's feed and seed. Yeah, I'm actually quite uh, happy with that price there at the moment, Owen. Uh, again, it does say January here, but... I mean, we're 227 versus 232, 49 versus 500. Yeah, close enough, right? I mean, close enough. I mean, if we really, really needed the money, sure, we could uh, maybe do something different, but I think I will go with that. Okay, this truck here is... Oh, yeah, you're empty. So you just need to actually go back to the uh, the farm. Might just back this back out to the road here. Probably be the easiest. Probably should have switched that. Uh, I had him go unload at the... Um, Railroad silo there. Should have switched them to probably go to the Century Farm silo there. Probably would have been better. Speaking of the uh, Century Farm silo, by the way, we very rarely, in fact, I would say almost never use that. That is the uh, silo system. Again, we put down back in the early days here of this uh, save game uh, to put our crops in because uh, putting our crops in the main silo system that's on the map here, uh, they will not show up on the time-saving stock check. Uh, again, probably just a silly little uh, checkbox. Somewhere, someone forgot to check on that silo system, but fortunately it doesn't work, so we put that one down. But then everything sells at the train station, so you must have just take it down there, right? Okay, turning you on. You can uh, drive the rest of the way down there, hopefully. How are we looking on the harvest here? Ooh, is he on the ra last pass? He is on the last pass. Almost done here. Back when we uh, started this harvest, I, mean, I brought uh, two trucks down to each one of the fields. Definitely did not need that. Uh, we maybe half full here on 47, and like I said, this is what we have off of both 48 and 45, so... And I don't know if we'll fill this or not. No, I don't think we're going to fill that because we got about a thousand in there, five hundred in there. So no, nope, definitely won't fill it. One of the nice things about uh, course play, if I was running course play, I guess I'm not. Am I? You know what? I can probably turn this on. That should still work yet. I think. Hopefully. Uh, this does remind me, though. By the way, I had uh, quite a few problems, and we'll see what some of it happens here this time as well. But I've had quite a few problems getting course play to unload here with the soybeans. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing maybe it's the snow that's at fault here. I don't know. But course play will pull up underneath the combine. And the combine will never unload. I don't know why, one. I have no clue. It just will not unload. Also, I'm curious. Where did all the windrows go? Are there actually windrows under here? 
do we just not get any straw? That's interesting. We'll see once I'm not sure if I'm going to bail this yet or not of one. Probably will, but... Not doing the greatest job line. Well, no, yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah, he's got it. See if the combine action loads here. Verdict is no. And, and this this is what keeps happening. I, mean, I don't know why. If you folks have any ideas, let me know. I'll throw them down in the comments there. But why is the combine not unloading? This is what keeps happening. Everyone. And like I said, I'm kind of blaming it on the snow. I, I don't know if there's maybe something else that's going on here or not. Uh, again, all the other harvests I've done this fall in the game here so far. Course plays functioned almost flawlessly. Uh, which is actually very impressive, if you ask me. I mean, almost flawlessly. Uh, in fact, I would almost go as far to say course play has functioned flawlessly, everyone. Uh, all the issues, or most of the issues we've had, have all been when I've restarted the game, and you got to get everything back going again, and seems to be a little bit of derpiness going on there for some reason. But if you leave the game running, I mean, wow, course play does a phenomenal job. So why we're having issues now, but I don't know. Now, if I uh, stop the combine, so I'm guessing it's the combine at fault. Because if I stop them, and course play is nice enough, uh, when you stop it, it shuts the engine off for you. So you got to start it back up. It's, it's real nice, of course, but there. <laughs> uh, yeah. But oh well. And then, yeah, now you can see it's unloaded. So nothing wrong with the grain cart, that one. Uh, it'll unload in the grain cart. just the combine will not unload. I don't know why. At least I'm guessing it's the... Uh, Combine that's at fault here, and I'm guessing it's the snow that's the reason. Fortunately, of course, it does just uh, stay there and unload, unlike auto drive, which uh, you folks know if you like get out of the combine or something like that. Auto drive's like, nope, see ya, bye, I'm done unloading ya. Or, you know, uh, going back to the auto drive thing, too. Like, if you unload with auto drive and you go drive up to... You know, maybe the grain cart isn't coming to unload you, so you go drive up to it. Like, well, fine. I'll just unload into it. Uh, you put the pipe out, you start unloading, and then auto drive drives away. Anyone else, you know, like, have that? Yeah, happens all the time. Straighten this header out here a minute. Wrong way. There we go. Other way. There. Now it is. That should be good. Okay, lower that onto the trailer. That's sitting on there pretty good. I like how our combine looks all uh, snow covered here. Uh, why is it? Why are we pooping out straw at the back here? What the heck? What the heck is up with that, everyone? Like, if you look, the, the the straw pile is actually legitimately going up, too. So <laughs> looks like it's actually... Uh, okay. Anyone else, like, what in the world? Hmm. I have no idea. Well, we're just going to take the combine back to the farm here. Uh, no idea why it's outputting straw. Like, that's weird. Or it looks like it's outputting straw. Strange things going on here. Very strange. Well, we'll put the combine away. Won't be needing that here for a few more months here again. And we didn't plant any winter wheat, everyone. So, unless we do oats, which we probably will. We won't be needing the combine for quite a while here, possibly. I think I've got the other uh, combine parked over here already, if I remember correctly. Oh, yes, there it is. 
Whoa. Okay. Hang on. A little slippery, apparently, there, one. That was almost, uh... No, it wasn't quite a 360. It wasn't more like a 180, I guess. I was thinking it was a 360, but no, I think it was just a 180. Like I said before, when the uh, snow here in this game really makes it slippery. And again, I don't know if that's the map or base game that does that. Because I don't remember uh, snow being that bad in the past. So I'm thinking maybe there's something with this map that makes it slippery. But I could be wrong. Okay, and then you need to unload. So I should be able to just click you. Actually, you probably won't work. For some reason, it didn't want to work with the soybeans on the last field either. Uh, normally, you can uh, click that yellow button and then... Force play will go unload the grain cart. Don't know why. Just uh, something with the snow here. Nothing wants to work. Sounds about right, right, everyone? Whenever you get snow, uh, seems like the amount of problems you have uh, and stuff that doesn't want to work. Yep, that's when it's going to happen, right? Okay, we'll get this unloaded. We'll have the uh, truck hopefully uh, drive down to the railroad side. We'll unload that. And then we will finally, with the exception of maybe the bailing, which I don't know, do we want to count that as harvesting? It's kind of sort of part of harvesting, but... And then we'll finally be done with harvesting here this uh, year in the game, Evan. And uh, talk about a little bit of a long harvest here this year. Again, we did double crop our soybeans, which... I mean, it makes money, Evan. It... <laughs> Our yield definitely seems to be uh, suffering quite badly, I think. I don't know. Yeah, in this mod here. It's going to tell me how much fertilizer and stuff. It's not going to tell me how much we should have gotten from the field. So, I don't know if there's a mod that'll do that or not. But, like, you know, if we plant the field in soybeans, how many soybeans should we expect to get off this field? Seems like we should have gotten more than one truck full uh, between both fields. But, I don't know. Maybe not, everyone. Maybe not. And apparently not, because that's what we did. I think I probably should uh, close the cover on the ground. Oh, this one. No, oh, no cover. Huh. Well, I don't know who the cheapskate is that bought this one and didn't put a cover on it. Wow. No cover at all, huh? Well, I guess that's what it is. For a reminder, while we're uh, bringing this back to the farmyard here, by the way, if you haven't already clicked the uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do so. Always very much appreciated. And, of course, once you are subscribed, everyone, make sure you turn on your notifications there as well. That way you get notified of the latest, greatest Upper Mississippi River episode going live. And, of course, uh, next up probably will be lots of selling. So that'll probably be next episode, everyone. Uh, in addition to the selling that's going on here this episode as well, of course, working on selling bales and stuff like that. I don't know, if I get bored, I, mean, I might just uh, skip time to January and try to sell the bales then, too. Makes a little bit more money. And then we can sell all the rest of the crops while we're at it here, too. I was uh, debating on maybe uh, buying a couple more bale trailers here, too. I've got more trucks now. Uh, we got a total of, actually, no, I think seven trucks. Yeah, because we got another truck here, too. So I forgot about that one. So we got a total of seven trucks then, at least. Okay, that one's all parked up. Then we got to take the truck here. We'll get the truck set up here a minute. And we'll have you go back to Century Farm Silo when you're done, please. He's going to the Upper Mississippi uh, Rail Silo. That's perfect. Trucks do uh, surprisingly well out in the uh, fields here. Sometimes the uh, larger straw piles cause problems, though. Got a couple of pretty big ones there. Going downhill, though. Get a little bit of speed. We should be fine. I'll get her up on the road. Oh, yeah. We got her, Evan. We got her. Not too shabby. Okay, turn you on. Let's see if the uh, truck can actually make it down 
to the cell point, well, silo, technically, uh, without causing any problems. Uh, typically in the snow, when I have a lot of problems with auto drive actually making the turns. And even myself, I would uh, sometimes, uh, I have trouble making the turns here. It's, yeah, it's just that slippery in the game here. Also, I noticed uh, you're supposed to be uh, loading up bales. I've got course that working on this, by the way. Course play is picking up the bales, or at least it's supposed to be. Might just uh, do this job myself here a minute. Get another load of bales going. And this is, I should probably check what bales. I think these are corn stock bales as well, right? Again, soybean and corn stock bales are selling in different uh, locations. So I want the best price. I probably should watch that. Uh, oh, good. You are turned on. Yeah. I was going to say, that seems like something coarse that I would do. Just turn off the bale collecting option. Oh, you know what? Is it folded down in the back? Yes, it is. That's uh, is X. I thought it was X. Maybe not. Uh, does that to fold up the tailgate? Oh, Z. Okay. Hey, that helps. That helps a little bit. Now we're getting a little more speed. Yeah, for some reason, uh, of course, it likes to fold down the ramp when it's picking up, which doesn't seem to usually cause too many issues. Well, that'll about do it here for this field. And I think we got two uh, two more fields to bail here yet. At least if I'm going to bail them. Sorry, when I just uh, got distracted here a moment. I was looking over there and I see a uh, trailer that looks to be uh, nose first down in a ditch over there. <laughs> so I think I might have my answer as to how well auto drive is going to do. For those who remember the first year we had selling crops on this map here, uh, that was constant reality there. Every uh, truckload, I pretty much had to go rescue auto drive from the ditch over there. Again, auto drive doesn't seem to know to maybe, you know, slow down on the corners, which I suppose I could turn it down more yet, everyone. But yeah, auto drive doesn't seem to know to slow down on the corners, you know, when it's uh, slippery and icy and snowy out, right? Which uh, seems to be a very real thing in this uh, map, by the way. Don't mess with the snow. Okay, we need two more bales here to fill this trailer up yet. There's not a whole lot of bales left on the field here from the looks of it. Field 42, though. That field will take a while to pick that up. That's, again, why I'm uh, debating on maybe buying another bale trailer here, too. Okay, and that was Miller's for that, right? I'll double-check this here a minute. We'll start, yeah, Miller's Feed and Seed. Check our time-saving stock. Check mod corn stock. Miller's Feed and Seed. Yes, indeed it is. And speaking of which, is the other truck down there? It is not. wonder how far he made it. Oh, he's close. I mean, he is close. I think he is. No, it's not where I thought he was. Oh, wait, he's further down yet. Yeah, okay. Now, that is where I thought he was. Yep, right down there, almost to the road. Now, I think once he gets to the road, I mean, usually we don't have any troubles there. Uh, the road is not slippery, I don't think, so we're not any more slippery than it normally is when there isn't snow. I wonder where the other truck is, because there should be a truck unloading soybeans somewhere, too. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He's down in the ditch over here. Yeah, that's where he is. Oh, wow, that truck made the, uh, made the turn. What's your problem there, bud? How come you can't? Here, here a minute. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, and out of curiosity here, how much for another bale trailer? Which I don't remember what category that was on. Was that under low loaders? Yes, that is under low loaders for a whopping $55,000. Um, it's probably not a good thing, everyone, because I think I have the loan maxed out, so no more, no. No more bale trails, Evan. I guess we'll just have to make do with the two we have. Although, we're going to sell some bales here in a minute. Once we sell some bales, then we might have enough money to buy a trailer. That might just work. Well, before I forget, let's get the header off the field here. Bailing tractor's probably done as well. I should probably get him out of the next uh, field here. So far, for headers, by the way, I've just been making the other combine pull its own header. I know, terrible, isn't it, everyone? Making the combine pull its own header. Can you believe it? I think we do have hitch options for our grain carts, too, so we could technically pull them behind the grain carts, too, if we wanted to. That makes a long train of equipment, though. If you have a tractor, we are pulling a grain cart, especially one of the larger ones. And then you're pulling a header behind it. Oh my goodness, Evan. Wow. Don't know if I'd care to drive that. Better be careful of the turns on that one, that's for sure. Huh. Wonder what we had parked there. Looks like something with duels on it. Not sure what, but... Something that had big duels. Okay, bailing tractor. Yes, you are done. Well, we'll just uh, head over to field 48 here next, I guess. We'll get started on that field. And again, like I said, my intentions at this point, I'm going to are to leave field 41. Again, if I wanted to bail that field, that one, a couple things I could do. I could probably try bringing the combine down there, see if I could regenerate the auto drive or regenerate the course play course and see if it would work and line up it might or what you'd probably really have to do everyone is you would have to run the rake across that field line up the wind rows and then bail it but I don't feel like doing that so I think we got enough bales to pick up here I'm curious how many bales are down at the moment it's got to be a few frame rate probably ooh. Wow, why is the frame rate so low? That seems a little bit ridiculous. Typical farming simulator. Okay, and actually, you know what? You're going to go back to the barn, so I'll drive him back to the barn here. Usually park the uh, baler up in the barn. And while I'm doing that, I want to think, unfortunately, it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So with that, you folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. Until next time.